Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hopefully my volume stays relatively steady across all the videos I record, uh, no matter what day I happen to be recording them on. But, you know, knowing that I try to keep the same distance from the mic, uh, there are certain other environmental factors that uh, keep me from being able to give you the same level of volume with all my media productions. Did you hear Wicket there? He was uh, testing his microphone. He's doing a little paw casting in the back. <clears throat> We had a community member at large send an email. Christopher Cornelius writes in, says, I have done some searching, but I'm able to find a good solution for editing my MP3s so that they have the same volume. I think this is called normalizing, right? Do you know of a good one? One that can do batch normalizing? Yeah, that'd be nice. Also, since I have over 300 MP3s on my media player. Hey, Wicket. Hi. You want to join me? Are you done podcasting? Are you, are you done? You ready to talk about volume? Huh? See, Wicket, when he talks, when he does his podcasting, it's, he's very soft. Uh, he speaks very low. And then, of course, when I do it, I'm boisterous and ah, loud. And if you listen to our, our uh, you know, podcasts, well, I guess mine would be a video cast. This is a podcast. Back to back, you'd be reaching for the volume control every other second because it'd be loud and soft. And in some cases, the video player or the uh, media player can help you automatically uh, normalize the volume so that it stays steady across the board no matter what you happen to listen to. Going from death metal to classical music uh, can somehow be, I don't know, does anybody even do that? Anyway, I think you know what we're talking about. Now, in terms of solutions, when I tossed it out to the chat room earlier, because I knew of, of a few utilities, but uh, none of them were really coming to mind, uh, a couple of people simultaneously suggested MP3 gain. What it does is analyze and adjust MP3 files so that they have the same volume. This is something that you'd want to run on your library, specifically music files that you always ran back to back, possibly even uh, the music files that came from the same album. Uh, because again, you know, an album uh, at one, uh, you know, one song may be at this level, another song may be at this level, that's not very likely, but you never know what's going to happen, especially if you've collected uh, pieces of that album or songs from that album from a variety of sources uh, over the years, of course. So mp3gain.sf.net, it's open source, that's right, uh, will allow you to do just that. It will help you normalize the volume so that you have a better experience when listening to your, well, at least your mp3 file. Now, it was also suggested uh, a, a Gigavox uh, utility. Now, Gigavox.com happens to be run by one of my friends, uh, Doug K, a longtime supporter for Gnome Dex. Uh, he also runs the IT Conversations podcast. And at Gigavox.com forward slash Levelator, uh, there's a free utility for both Windows OS 10. oh, not just both, but for Windows OS 10 and Linux. Uh, and what this will do is it will allow you to do essentially the same thing. Uh, it will help you level the volume inside uh, of your sound files. And uh, again, it happens, I believe it happens to be free as well. Um, at least I don't see anything here. It says read the license agreement. Oh, free registration required for the mailing list, but that's the only registration I happen to see here. Here. So uh, it's uh, both those utilities uh, should be worth a shot. I certainly trust Doug K when it comes to audio uh, more than I trust a lot of people out there. Um, and uh, you know, of course, if, if you've ever run into this problem before, uh, these are some solutions for you. No matter what operating system you happen to be using, if you know of another utility uh, or another workaround for getting around all these various volumes with media files, by all means, make some recommendations and suggestions. We're here listening 24 hours a day. Uh, you can come to the chat room and throw your suggestions in there, or of course. Any other question you might have, if we can't answer it in the chat room, hopefully I will be able to answer it uh, during a live recording at some point in the near future. But, you know, even if you just want to hang out for a little while, you got nothing to do, uh, you know, there's nothing on television, swing by our chat room. We're here 24 hours a day at live.perillo.paw. See you later.